Okay, it is the big day. We cleared out the kids' bedroom and it is build day. We are going to put together a twin bunk bed and a twin loft bed from adultbunkbeds.com. Emmy, what's coming? Our new bed! Our new bed! 500 pounds, 14 boxes. Oh. Right here. I was wondering the same thing. That UPS driver did not know what he had in store for him this morning. Luckily, my husband was still here to help me bring these in. These are the bunk beds and one loft bed from adultbunkbeds.com. Wow, this is gonna be quite an adventure putting this all together. Here is the pallet we have to work with here. This is the kids' room. Their old bed is gone. And now we are gonna build it back up with a total kids room makeover. We are still undecided on how exactly we're going to do the beds, but we'll just get them up and then see how they fit, I guess. Eee, wish us luck, this is gonna be a hard, grueling day, I think. So echoey in here, oh! <laughs> Our two beds came in 14 boxes and <laughs> opened up the first two. You can see they're nicely wrapped and protected. These are some of the metal beams, I guess, that are gonna be for the bed. And then here are the wooden slats. So here are all the boxes for the twin bunk bed. They labeled all these number two. And then the boxes labeled number one are the loft and we don't have them up here yet. And here, is a big bag of parts and instructions with the ladder. They also have really helpful YouTube videos on how to put these together on their website, adultbunkbeds.com. Contemporary aluminum beds. Boom, there's all the parts. Bunk assembly, two people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, that's a whole lot of stuff. Oh yeah, easy peasy, all right. Yeah, step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty though. And sturdy, that's the key. I was so confused what we were doing, but basically this is a side and those are the feet there. And we're gonna stand it up. That makes a lot more sense <laughs> if I had known that. Should've watched the whole video first. The bottom of the bed is a nice kind of foam. So it seems grippy and not scratchy. That's good. So, so smart how they've done this. Like you use golf pins so that it's open a little, then you can get the bed slots in and everything and now it's all set up and now we're gonna remove the golf pins and tighten everything completely and that way the slats won't fall out, everything's super secure. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant design, seriously. So this is the bracket that goes on to the edge of the bed and then the bed rail slides in here and you can adjust it to whatever height is needed for your mattress so you don't have to get a thin one or whatever, you can get whatever size you want, super cool. All right, the bunk is done, more or less. We can't put the rails on until all the mattresses have arrived because it's custom height when you put the mattress on. So it is done, now we're gonna put up the loft. Because the loft doesn't have the bottom bed, there are some cross beams on the side, the side, and the back. So that's what we're doing now. Wow. 
we're done for now till the bed till the mattresses come then we will finish the guardrails and put the kids up but here it is for now they are super heavy and like i showed you they have grippy feet so the trick we found was to put cardboard boxes under them to be able to move them around to where you want them and this isn't where we want them yet but for now until we finish putting them together kids are gonna sleep up in the attic tonight until our mattresses arrive oh my gosh this is this is their temporary bed situation oh it's so sad 